Hi YouTube, hi everyone. I just wanted to share something with you. I've spent an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour making something. And I wanted to share it with you. Uh, so I use these, I love these. They're very expensive. They're called cup burrs. C-U-P and then B-U-R-S. You can get them from eBay or Amazon. They're about £13.75. They are definitely worth it. And these are a wire of 20 gauge. 0 0.8. I think. Oh yeah, there you go. No, 008. That's the company. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanted these and then I was like, oh, they're too expensive. But I bought them because I need them for my jewelry making business. Okay, and then you need these brush cutters. These are new. I got two sets for six pounds. Yeah. And then you need brown nose pliers. And I'm using these bent, bent nose pliers because um, I can rest my thumb here, the one I found hard to use and bend. And then I'm using just something to work from. But before I was using a cushion, a soft pillow cushion, and my wire. Jewelry wire, 20 gauge, 0.8 mm. This is this what you need to um for the, the short bits there, the burrs. Just wind it round to take off the sharp edge. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll tell you. Um, I I was going to use this one. This is a uh, tarnish resistant. This is uh, supposed to be 20 gauge as well. These I've just bought from Amazon. So then, so, so I'm just messing about there. <laughs> so um, I made uh, these beforehand. These unfolding them beetle shell because of the back and there okay. and I added these today so I used gold wire and gold fish um, hook these you know so I put them into this black card these are from Amazon as well I got black beige black beige and white so um, the reason I took so long to finish them, the wire wrapped and stuff on the top and the bottom, because this one doesn't always hang straight. It sort of twists to the side a bit on the right. This one stays perfect. I made this one first and this one second. So I keep turning it, but it sort of wants to stay on one side. See, I wrapped that. On the top there. Yeah, I love that technique so the beads don't fall out and get lost. And they're wrapped here as well, but then they're hidden with this big um, metal, um, like a cage bead. It's like a cage, but you can see the wire running through. The gold wire should be in there, there is. It's running through. So, so I just make these in advance. So the stuff left enough loop. This is called beetle shell because I just left it as like a beetle colour from the back. This is raisin and then my secret ingredient. And there. These are UV, UV earrings, UV. Earring UV resin and then UV lamp. Yeah. This one's 
the chest to get green and green and blue tone. There's the shell. Can't really see the that split. Split there's a split there between the underneath and the top one. That was my design. So we are hard to see because it's on black. Let me take it off. way better yeah so it's easier to see now so way better this one doesn't hang right I'm gonna to try to fix it so I'm gonna sell these on Amazon I think so I'll go to craft fair tomorrow and but I want to get like twenty pounds for these, so I don't know if I'll get twenty pound on the craft fair. But I might get twenty pound on Amazon from my Amazon customers. I don't know because they took a long time, and I've used lots of different materials to make them. And <laughs> That's it, right? So I'm gonna have to fix it before it goes online, obviously. Yeah, I do like the color tone mix. I've got dark silver and then gold. Yeah, so, anyway, so give me a thumbs up if you like these. See how it sits? Sometimes it's nice, and other times it gets stuck. I like the natural dangling wiggle. But they're stuck again. Okay, I'm gonna sort that one out. So I don't like that. I'm gonna fix that and then stuff. Anyway, see you, take care, keep cool, stay out of the sun. God bless everyone.